So hello everyone, on this episode we're making DIY jackets and we're taking it to the streets. So what we're going to do is we're going to meet random people and we're going to ask them to give us scores of a 10. So we really really want to say thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. Uh, also we're supposed to announce the winner of the last um, giveaway. Like, so we're gonna, you know, well <laughs> <laughs> you'll be positioned here. Or here. Yeah, any whatever. Thank you so much for commenting first. Uh, we'll also have another giveaway today. So as long as you keep commenting first, you keep getting, you know, the prize. So try to comment. Wait, wait, wait. Imagine if one person keeps commenting. <laughs> then one person keeps winning it. I want to comment too, but apparently I can't. Okay, so in today's episode, we're going to do a DIY challenge. Now, this DIY challenge involves taking a trench coat. Both of us have the same trench coat. And we're going to have to edit it in ways that suit us, using things around us. Like, when you know you have like trash bags at home, you have makeup at home, you have paint at home. Whatever you have at home, you have to use that to define, you know, to make your jacket look like you, to be a definition of you. So um, I can't wait to hop into the challenge so you can see what we have in stuff. But before we do that, uh, we have to, you know, show you guys the jacket, right? Yeah. Right, right, we let just, just watch this. <laughs> As you can see, we have like, you know, matching jackets. And so these are the jackets we're supposed to do DIY stuff on. You can do anything you want to do, as long as everything you use was in your home. And that's the first rule. And the second rule is, you cannot take this to a professional. No tailors, no screen printers, no nothing, no professionals. You have to do this on your own. So the third rule of the challenge is, we have one hour to actually finish up the design on our jacket. Originally, the plan was 45 minutes, but I mean, come on, we don't work miracles on this channel, we just do stuff. So we have one hour to design the jacket completely. And yeah, those are the three rules. <laughs> okay, so um, we can't wait for you guys to see what we have in store. And you know, oh, of course, you can already start commenting when you think it's gonna win. I feel like I'm going to win, obviously. I always feel like I'm going to win. She, she always does that. Right there. What is this? Pick me. Me. So, anyways, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with you. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm not the most creative person ever. So, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. All I know is at the end of the day, if I hate my design, I'm never going to wear this jacket again. <laughs> I can't think of anything, so I'm just going to. What's that thing that they do? Wing it, yeah. I'm just going to go with the flow, which I'm yet to find. We'll see. I'm a helicopter! And before you say this is not the way they move, it's the sound! It's the sound! Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have a DIY challenge today. And luckily for me, I think I do a lot of DIY. Can you see my jeans? This is the shirt DIY. It's, it's like you get and my shirt. Too. Okay, this isn't DIY. This is just like made stuff. But then, like, I think I already have like a whole lot of ideas for what I want to do to the jacket. Taxi right now. I'm on my way home, and I'm just going to get home. Look around my place, find anything, and I mean anything that I could actually use to design a jacket because I can almost guarantee you that nothing like that exists in my house. I'm already thinking of how, what I can do to mess up the jacket. The first thing I, I want to do is, okay, let me show you guys something. I have a couple grocery bags. I have like a couple grocery bags here that I got from the store. About to, Don't mind this, I paint a lot here. And I also have like some spray paint cans. So I'm thinking maybe I could like, um, you know, spray paint one side, then add some of those pockets. Imagine having a very big pocket in the jacket. 
That would be so cool. This is what I have to work with. I have all these different paints, both acrylic and oil paints. I have obviously jacket. I have colorful threads, shimmery strings. I don't know what to call them. But I have those. For some reason, I have paper tape. It might come in handy. I don't know. We don't know. Don't judge me. I have paper tape. And I have these cute scissors that I found. Why do I keep shaking the car like that? So my hands are just used to moving it. My brain knows I'm not supposed to do it. My hand just keeps going. That sounded wrong. That looks wrong. That feels wrong. So what I'm trying to do, keyword trying, I'm making a moon. Uh, at, at least that's the first step. It's a black and white moon. So. Let's just hope that what I can see in my head is what's actually going to show up on this because I have absolutely no faith in myself. Ah, we found some flames, boys. I mean, who doesn't like this guy? It's always happy, even when it's rainy and all the clouds are dark and everything. It just looks so annoyingly happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. That's what we're doing, we're putting the clouds on a jacket. At least I hope that's what it will look like. <laughs> finds a way to be there. Let's go see the moon I already made. Very proud of myself by the way. It looks way nicer than I thought it would. I would just for the record like to say that I've never made clouds in my entire life. The first time I tried it was absolutely horrible. So this is the second time I'm going to be trying and I would just like to say this before anybody comments about how terrible my jacket is. I don't know how to do clouds, okay? Because I'm kind of running out of time. And here's the funny thing. I once had somewhere that if you like hold a lighter to a spray gun and you spray, the stuff kind of like dries faster. So we're going to test that. I hope this not This cloud is sad, in case you didn't notice, and the other cloud and the moon are having a very nice conversation. Why? This bird is leading the other three birds because only four birds exist in this world. <laughs>
we're going to do is we're going to meet random people. I'm going to ask them to give us scores of a 10. I can't wait to see what comes out of it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Noah. Hi. So, um, I need you to give my jacket like, a score out of 10. Red through like red flames and blue flames. And and there are the clouds, okay? So, that's like, I would really like to have one. Just like this. Just like this, really? Yeah. Thank you! So it's absolutely. Is it 10? Yeah, it's 10. 10? That's what he said! Hello, my name is Popo. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Thank okay, you. Okay, um, what do you think about the jacket? Yeah, exactly. Is it good? Um, over 10, what score would you give it? Give it? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which one? 10 is the highest. 10? Wonderful. <laughs> you guys won't believe who we met. We met Nikki again. <laughs> Every time they need someone to judge, I know, right? <laughs> Hi, my name is Noah. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, so I made this jacket for myself and I want you to give me a score out of 10. Like, just tell me what you think about my jacket. First of all, it's beautiful. Thank you. And, okay, it's 10. Definitely a 10. I got it. A 10. Thank you. Very great. So, what do you like about the jacket? Uh, well, first of all, the colors. That they're amazing. Thank you. And uh, the way they so like, close okay, together. Oh, and there's something on the back. On the upper part. Can I? <laughs> One is falling off. <laughs> okay, so um, hey, I'm Pop. What's your name? Hi, <laughs> So um, I have a new jacket here, a DIY jacket, and then we need you to give us a score. So I need you to give us a score and you tell me what you like about the jacket. What do you like? Let me start. And then you saw the score. So what do you like about the jacket first? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I would give you 10 and I think you can go 10. <laughs> Thank you very much. So like we'll put we'll Nene's put Instagram here so you can follow her if you want to. Thank you so much, man. Amazing. George, okay. Georgi. Georgi from Georgia, yeah. Georgi from Georgia. Okay, so um, he's going to give his opinion on my version of the DIY jacket. We'll see what he likes, what he doesn't like. And we'll get a score from him. Okay, uh, first of all, I like the color. It's the green or whatever it's called. And uh, the design, uh, in my opinion, this uh, color doesn't look so well with this green stuff. And uh, I give this design uh, maybe 6 out of 10 because it's still funny and uh, <laughs> brings energy, you know? True, I true. like the energy. Yeah, uh, I like this one, these hands over there. Yeah, uh, definitely this is the, my, my favorite part in this jacket. And um, the colors are looking better uh, than the spot colors. And uh, yeah, but this is uh, definitely my type. Okay, and the bag is uh, the, my favorite part. Uh, it, it brings some energy too because I feel like comfortable and calm when I look at it. Definitely be my favorite part. So I give this jacket a 9 out of 10. Whoa! One point, one point room for improvement. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. What do I think about Purple's jacket, right? First of all, I actually really, really like the flames on the jacket. And I do like the arrow also. And the stamping. What does it say again? I can't remember. But the stamping is also very cool. Like he got this heat transfer paper stuff. But it's actually very nice. I like the jacket. I like the fire. I like the arrows. I just don't understand why it's only half of the jacket that is done. But you know what? It's not my jacket, is it? It's his jacket, so he can do whatever he wants. Still don't get it. So, out of 10, right? From a score of 1 to 10. I'm going to give him a 7.5 because I'm being nice. For Noah's jacket, first off, I think I like the fact that she went like, you know, ice and fire, like cold and hot. 
it gives you some kind of yin yang balance like oh yeah and I like the moon stuff behind it like the moon and the two clouds and then there was this clouds that was like dropping I felt like you know, it felt like the moon was okay the first cloud was okay but then the second cloud was having like a hangover or something a 7.5 or 8 because I, I'm giving it an 8 because like it was okay like it looks good on her it was a, it was a nice jacket if I saw that jacket I would actually pay for something like that I would you know actually pay for something because like I know it's something I'll never see on someone else. So it's kind of worth the price, you know, it's kind of worth the price. So, uh, yeah, it was okay. Hello guys. So we had fun talking to, that is a lie. <laughs> that is not true. I had absolutely no fun speaking to people that I don't know. But we had to, you know, content. So, uh, this is the end of the video. I have absolutely no idea if Purple will actually put this part in the video. You better because my arm aches. But this is the end of the video. We hope you like the video. If the audio is terrible, I apologize because we were outside, we're out on the street and we haven't gotten a microphone yet. So we're working towards that though, don't worry. The next video we do on the street wouldn't be like terrible audio. I'm just saying. But thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share the video, post on your statuses, post on your Instagram, don't forget to tag us when you post it, bye!